well, you, you, you feel relieved that you finish exams, but then you feel nervous because you're waiting for results. So it's sort of that period where you're like, ah, oh. <laughs> so. I had the email there and I didn't realise our results would be in that email. I thought, you know, I could procrastinate clicking that special link, like with my waste results. But they were there and I was really happy with them. So I kind of, you know, missed the shock period. <laughs> Um, yeah, I got an email and then I checked Student Connect and I was like, oh, that's amazing. Um, like, despite my hardship and struggles, I managed to, to do really well. So. It was simply just an email to us and I was quite happy with my results and like a few distinctions. So I'm like, yeah, I'm quite pleased with these. I was just checking my mail as always and then I... I saw, saw my results and I was so excited, you know, I was like, I was telling my husband and he was like, okay, you just got, you just, you just managed to got D and not HD. And then I was like telling him, I think it's okay for me as of now, I managed to get through and that's more than enough. I think two weeks, two weeks, what, I, I think it was, I don't remember, but um, UWA students and like, and if, Facebook thing saying that it would be on a Friday night and they sent it at like 8 and I saw the email notification I was just like <gasps> and then I clicked on it I saw it fast I was just like I'm so happy I think I ran around my house or something I don't, I don't know what I did we had, yeah we got an email from I was I was in Denmark at the time working with a friend and we both got the email at the same time we just looked at each other and we're like this is it <laughs> So we, we had a look and yeah, well, I mean, it was good. I, I passed everything and that was really good. Well, they were proud of me. I, I told them, oh, I got um, two HDs and one D for psychology. And then my mom was like, why is it just D for psychology? I was like, it's good enough. Asian parents. Uh, I was feeling great, good, but um, because of one subject only, I was feeling a bit disappointed because I was not expecting um, credit in that though I got credit in that and uh, uh, and I went to the teacher and I really asked that what was really wrong with my paper because I was not expecting this and he, he talked about my paper and I came to know that uh, there are there were some flaws because of that um, I lose some marks really good I mean um, only one unit is not that good I mean it's not up to my expectation but all other three went really good and I'm, I'm really happy I got this uh, distinctions so that's nice yeah uh, it was not encouraging but uh, the same life has to continue <laughs> regardless uh, I, I scored good marks in both the exams and I was like uh, I'm satisfied with what I managed to achieve um, you know, I did, you know, surprisingly well, considering how nervous I was. My results, I mean, I got, now I got all the results of my, you know, uh, f f first semester. And results are really encouraging, so I'm very happy. But at that time, I mean, it, it was uh, a bit tight, a bit hard time. Uh, Sometimes I was feeling like might be, uh, I am an international student over here. And uh, my English and my grammar might not be uh, that much good. And it might be uh, because of that, I might be losing marks. I was not surprised because, okay, at the moment when I was doing, especially some of the units, I was not feeling well, so I didn't expect anything good. Yeah, so I didn't, it was not a surprise, although still it was a bit stressing because now that you have an impact. Yeah, on what follows. And I was hoping that my teachers uh, might be understanding this factor of mine, but uh, it was not like that because there are marks for grammar and everything. So I, I obviously uh, had to lose some marks on that. And uh, when I was getting my feedback, I was uh, feeling great as well because um, the feedback was very good. So that was an encouraging um, point for me. Because I'm a journalist, I'm so used to writing short sentence, you know, short sentences. And then one of the main feedback I got back from my um, lecturers here, they always uh, commented on my short paragraph and my referencing style. So I think I'll improve on that. I'll definitely try to do and I will try to get HD if possible. Uh, that's my aim. If I can, I'll do it. 
over the moon. I was so relieved. So yeah, definitely a bit of celebrating afterwards, which was good fun amongst friends. So yeah, really enjoyed that part. Oh, uh, we were, well, my boyfriend and I finished our exams together and we were like leaping and bounding across Oak Lawn. It was, it was really euphoric feeling. Um, not only finishing exams, but finishing my first semester and, you know, coming out on top, I suppose. I slept a lot. It's a normal. <laughs> I slept, I, um, about halfway through, I decided, like, I was just like, what am I doing with my life? What? <laughs> um, and I started applying for jobs, but no one's hired me yet. I'm really sad. <laughs> I went back to Indonesia, to my hometown, and got together with a family and my old friends and um, went traveling with, I took four friends from um, Perth. So we went to Bali, to Jogja, and then I took them to my hometown. So it was a really good um, trip. And yeah, I just needed that well, like one month break because I haven't been back to my country for two years. I was like, yeah, it's, it's time for me to go back. Um, no, I just went home to Karafa, which is a bit different for me because no one else, I have friends up there, but it's not really a popular town for people to come visit. So I didn't see many of my Trinity friends, but it gave me time to work. So I did quite a bit of work up there and just caught up with family and I planned those holidays to visit my sister who is in Sydney and I went there and uh, I also went to see some of my friends who are in Melbourne so and I went to Canberra as well so I planned my um, holidays accordingly. Uh, it was a great relief yeah it's just like how somebody gets out of the hospital you feel at least you are free unlike where you are just confined in the bed but then you are told do this, do this, turn this, turn this. At least I felt that uh, it was a bit of a relief. You know, you won't believe I was like, I was telling my husband, this is the best time of my life in Australia, you know. I feel so relaxed. I, I made plans like uh, when I was busy with my assignments and all, I couldn't give much attention to my daughter. No, she's just three years old and she needs my love and care. But then I couldn't give my attention because I thought that my studies are equally important. I have come all this way to study and if I don't get good grades, it, it doesn't make sense, you know. It doesn't do justice to the scholarship I got. It doesn't justice, do justice to myself as a person. And that's why I tried to balance out and then I, tried, I really tried to study. And then I made this plan the moment I finished my exam and assignments and everything. The moment the semester, that first semester came to an, comes to an end, I'm going to just relax, watch movies with my daughter, you know, cook for her. And I did what I planned and it was, it was, it was so nice. But I did definitely see a lot of people that I hadn't seen in a long time. I saw my um, high school science teacher and I told him about what I was doing and he was really like proud that he influenced me and stuff like that. So yeah, that's really cool. During the break, no, I, was, I didn't want to study. I wanted to breathe at least <laughs> after the semester. Uh, it's, um, I was hoping that it, yeah, I will be free. But um, just after, you know, first semester, I had another intensive unit for the, for the winter break. So that's, uh, that was again, you know, two weeks intensive course. So, well, really, I, I didn't have, you know, I didn't get free time, actually. <laughs> and I, as I told you, it was, uh, it was month of Ramadan. So I was hoping that I will have some free time in the end of Ramadan uh, and on Eid. Eid is a big day for, for, for Muslim, but uh, even for Eid, Eid uh, on Eid day, I was preparing for assignment. <laughs> so, yeah, so technically I didn't have free time. <laughs> I was still, I also didn't want to travel and make myself exhausted, but I had a friend who visited me from Sydney, so you are going around, rest, relaxing? Um, well, I have a mixed feeling for intensive unit. Intensive units are good, but I mean, I don't understand how can you condense it like four weeks or five weeks or seven weeks course into just two weeks. I mean, it is just like, sometimes I feel it is just like, you know, uh, someone is firing on you and, you know, just taking something, throwing, uh, you know, many things to, uh, towards you. So, 
I have mixed feeling for for intensive units here. Um, yeah, I would I would say it's it's really good for some students. Maybe it's good, but for new students, I think intensive units are not that that beneficial. And I was comparing Melbourne, Canberra, and Sydney with uh, Perth as well. And I was uh, revisiting my decision of either I made this decision right or not <laughs> to study in UWA or not. And then I found my campus very beautiful than other universities. So I was feeling great. No, my decision was right. <laughs>